this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home. It's Thursday and it's time for my grocery haul. Now, um, if you have not watched my previous videos these past few weeks, you may not know that I was gifted a beautiful box of personal items. I'm gonna link the video up at the top over here. There it is over there for you guys to check out. And the thing about that is, is that, um, so we have a personal items budget that's separate from our grocery budget, but because we were gifted so much stuff, we do not have to purchase personal items for a little while. So we have been including the money for personal items in our grocery haul just because it's there. Generally speaking, we uh, try not to use it if we don't have to, but we have it, so why not use it, right? So anyway, so our budget is a little high, but we're still not way over anything, but you will see items in this grocery haul. I did include the few personal items we needed to get and something extra that I don't usually buy. I'll explain that in just one second. First, let me show you the total so you'll know where we are money-wise. So here's where we went today. We went to the discount grocery and I spent $16.08. Aldi, I spent $16.44. And Ingalls, I spent $10.72 for a total of $43.24. So over our $30 budget, not over if you include our personal item budget. Our personal item budget, if you're not aware, is $20 to $30 every two weeks. So you're talking an extra $10 to $15 per week. So we're right, we're right on the money where we need to be. Let me show you my receipts. Here's the receipts and you see Ingles. We just got a couple of things for $10.52. This is Aldi, $16.44. And this is our discount grocery. 16.08. So here is what we actually purchased, including this lovely thing on the chair that I'm going to talk about. First, that actually came with my discount grocery store. They had this over the door rack, and I kind of could use one. So it was actually there, it was $2.99, and I, I was looking for a solution, and there it was for $2.99, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick that up. So that is not a normal grocery item, and yet that is included here in our budget. So you can see that it's not all food for sure. But let me show you something else. So over here are other items from the discount grocery store. I got this big beautiful bag of 10 pound red potatoes. I am super excited about this because I still have a lot of sausage and I've been looking at like Super Toscana um, make your own at home recipes and they, they include red potatoes. Well this 10 pound bag was one dollar. So I'm going to be making some beautiful rustic soups. I might even freeze them. So I'm really excited about that. One dollar, great deal. Then I, my family has wanted some pasta, not Ricky, obviously this will be on a, a night when Ricky's probably working or doing something else. So we got some bow tie pasta, it was a dollar for a pound. And then they had this uh, sun-dried tomato Alfredo sauce for 79 cents. So I went ahead and got two jars and we're gonna have some pasta one night. Here's some items that you don't normally see in my grocery hauls. Uh, aluminum foil, that was a $1.50. And coffee. Coffee was $4.99. Now, if you follow my grocery hauls, if you know what we do, I normally buy coffee at Dollar General. Every two weeks, I normally go buy personal items on Saturday. And when I buy them on Saturday, I use the $5 off coupon to get coffee because they usually have coffee on sale. So coffee is, in our household, part of our personal item budget. It's really it's not part of our regular groceries, it's kind of a splurge. But anyway, so since we're not buying personal items and I'm not getting big bulk uh, purchase at Dollar General and so I'm not getting to use the coupon, I have to buy it with my regular budget. So they had it, this French roast Folgers for $4.99. So there it is, that's what we got this week. And then here we go behind it, I got some balsamic vinegar, eight ounces for $1.50. And that was it at my discount grocery store. Um, not a ton today, but the things that I want, I actually took a list of things that I was looking for and I was able to get a lot of the things I was looking for. So doing, doing pretty good so far. Then we went to Aldi and let me show you what we got from Aldi. Over here in the corner, mushrooms were actually 69 cents. So I went ahead and got two. I'm gonna try to freeze one of them. Then uh, Brianna needed some peanut butter. She's been having that in the morning uh, with her breakfast. So um, peanut butter was $2.89. I just had to double check that real fast. We got some of their spaghetti sauce. We do have gl some gluten-free spaghetti left so we can actually have that with Ricky, but those were 99 cents each, so I got two. 
We got a couple more cans of black beans at 59 cents each. A can of sweet corn for 40 cents. We went ahead and picked up some evaporated milk. Uh, we we got some. We still have that Horizon organic milk left from our last grocery haul. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that at the top. You can check that out. Um, but the evaporated milk, it, it, we have this possibility of a hurricane coming again, so I thought that was a good option just to have around. Anyway, the evaporated milk, 69 cents. I needed some garlic. It was 79 cents. Another thing of brown gravy mix, and that is 35 cents. Mozzarella cheese, $1.79. And turkey bacon. Brianna wanted some turkey bacon, $1.89. One more thing. Well, two more things, actually. We got some cabbage again, $1.19. A little pricey considered for cabbage. You know, my opinion is not really, not really super pricey, but normally I can get cabbage a better price. But I wanted some. It was $1.19. There you go. And then plain bagels. They were $1.59 because Brianna likes to have bagels for breakfast. So all of that made up my Aldi's purchase, and that was $16.44. Well, over here, I just got these two things, just two packages of meat from Ingalls. I really wanted to go get some beef, and they had some pretty good prices on steaks, but I didn't, ha I actually bought cash with me, and I did not have enough cash left. So I was looking to see if they had anything that would work, and they had this really great roast that's only $6.76, $2.98 a pound. Great price. So I'm probably going to slice that like I would for Mongolian beef. I have a picture of it on Instagram if you want to check it out. So I think that's, that's going to be really good. And then they also had the split chicken breasts. I mean, look at the regular price was $9.50. They have it on sale for $0.98 cents a pound, so it's $3.75. So I got both of those for $10.72. So all in all, pretty good uh, haul this week. Not a lot of food, but exactly the food I needed. I sat down with my notebook. Let me show you my notebook. Here's my notebook. And if you haven't seen my grocery shopping process video, I'm going to link that up at the top too. But I basically just made a list of things that I kind of was looking for. Over here is a list of things that I had on hand, some meats that I had to make meals. I kind of started making a menu plan and just some menu plan ideas, but it's not 100% yet because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So let me show you what's in my freezer. Okay, it's, it's not looking perfect in there right now, but it's looking pretty good. Um, I actually went through and reorganized it. I have some thin split chicken breasts. I have two things of sweet Italian sausage, two things of hot Italian sausage, and I still have a package of Bubba Burgers left. And then over here on the side door, I have the ground chicken that I got for 79 cents last week. I've cooked it up and froze it in individual packages. Oh, and at some point this week, we went and got hot dogs rather than fast food and I had one package of hot dogs left. So that's just kind of hanging out in there. So here we go. We got lots of frozen veggies. I, I've been putting pictures on Instagram and Facebook with all the, I've been going crazy with freezing veggies this week. I got, back here I got, ah! you can see the carrots that I put in the food saver. I love my food saver. I got celery that's diced. Back here we have big bag of onions that's diced. And that's in addition to all of the raspberries and cauliflower and broccoli. This is blueberries. And here's the frozen gluten-free bread. So we, we actually didn't have room for a lot of things in the freezer anyway. So this was, I think, just right for us. And, oh, and plus I froze all those peppers. Don't they look pretty? Then this week I made all of this broth. That is a lot of broth. And I, I'm sure you can't see it, but over here there's some quick breads that I made. There's just all kinds of good stuff in here. So we have a lot of great food in the house. I've been working on making a lot of great food. I'm excited to have food in the house to be able to prepare all of these great soups that I've had on my mind. I don't know, it's just, it's feeling like fall and I wanna make a lot of soups and just like put them in big bags and freeze them and have things ready. So it's going to be a fun week. I'm hopeful that I can do a lot of great stuff with it. So yay. Okay, really quick. I do want to mention that tomorrow's Frugal Family food video is the last. No, what? no, it's not the last. It's not the last. It's the second to last video for our harvest month. And it's my good friend Tangi, Tangi the Caver's wife. She is going to be doing a video this week for Frugal Family Food. I did last week, she's doing this week. And so tomorrow, make sure you check that out. And also tomorrow we will be going, or my family, not me and Tangi, but <laughs> my family will be going live at about 6, 6.30 p.m. Uh, whenever we get done with dinner and we're ready <laughs> to hang out and chat for a little bit. But we're gonna hang out with you guys 
on YouTube live. So make sure you come back here and hang out with us. And uh, we'll try to share the final menu plan. We didn't get to it last week because we were celebrating Ricky's 18th birthday, but we are going to try to share the final menu plan with you guys and just let you know all the things that we have going on in the upcoming week. So it's really going to be fun. So we hope we'll see you then. Thanks for watching the grocery haul and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!